What's going on guys? This is Middle of Tech once again and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how I set up my first aid EDC kit and the mindset behind me choosing these specific items. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Having a first aid kit or a trauma kit, whatever you want to call it, is very crucial guys. And also I cannot put enough emphasis on the importance of taking or having some level of training when it comes to basic level first aid or even if it's a CPR class. Now, I will put some links in the description box of this video so I can give you guys different organizations out there that might be offering classes in your area. Now you guys can go ahead and check them out and if you're interested into um taking some trainings you are you, all you gotta do is go to the websites and then i'll see where in your area they're offering classes now majority of the items i have here on the table guys were purchased from a company called north american rescue and the rest which mostly is the gauze and the bandage and stuff were purchased through uh, different medical companies now also i will include in the description box a list a detailed list of all the items that I have laid out on the table as well. With that out of the way guys, let me go over the content of this kit and the mindset behind me having these specific items. Alright, the first item we're going to go over is a Gen 7 cat tourniquet from North American Rescue. There are several other types and brands on the market. I chose this one because I'm more familiar with it and also um, I've been using this since when I was in the military. But um, to show you guys, we also you can also um, opt in for a soft. This is a soft T wide tourniquet. They're just as good, but the apparatus is a little different. And another reason why I went with the tourniquet, uh, cap Gen Seven cap tourniquet over the soft T wide, is because this one is easily applied uh, with one hand versus this one you need both hands to apply it. And Another thing about these tourniquets, they all tactical combat casualty care certified, also known as TCCC. And for those of you guys who don't know what TCCC is, it's a committee created by the U.S. Department of Defense. And pretty much what they do is um, they uh, teach proven life-saving techniques and strategies for providing best trauma care on the battlefield. Basically, when a medical kit or medical item is TCCC certified, it means that it has been officially tested and verified and vetted by uh, that committee so that's why I went with this one because I know it's reliable and when I God forbid if I have to use it I don't have to worry about it breaking on me or going bad now the next item I'm gonna be talking about is a set of uh, Leatherman Raptor shears these are made out of a uh, high carbon steel stainless steel and the reason why I went with these is because of the different features that come with it. Now, these are more expensive than your typical conventional shears, like this one right here from North American Rescue. Right? These, there's nothing wrong with these. They work perfectly fine. But the reason why I went with these shears instead is because of um, all the different features you get with it as well. Like, for instance, you have a seat belt cutter with a oxygen tank wrench and on this side right here you get a rain cutter back here and at the bottom you have a carbide hold on let me get this thing to focus a little bit you have a carbide glass breaker at the bottom and you have a five centimeter ruler and the biggest thing that I like about these shears is the fact that you can fold them into a very compact size and there's a belt clip right here you can just slip them in your pocket and carry them without any problem so that's why I went with these now mind you guys if you're on a budget you can still get these there's not one with these shears you can buy one and just put them in your kit but um, me myself the reason why I carry these is because of all the different options that come with it now just by having it I don't have to worry about getting a glass breaker or a seat belt cutter when I'm in the car so I know I have them they're available now the next item I have on the list 
uh, this compressed gauze from North American Rescue and this quick clock combat gauze. Now the difference between these two is that this one is just regular gauze and this one is a hemostatic dressing. So if you have any type of arterial bleeding, this will speed up the clotting process quicker than um, than this compressed gauze. Now, can the both do the, get the job done? Yes. The difference also, the other difference also is that the price. These uh, these are close to about forty bucks, but these are under five bucks. Now, what I suggest, if if you guys are on a budget, you don't want to buy these or you don't see the value in them, you can still get two of these. But I went with these because they work quicker and a little bit more effective than uh, just the regular compressed gauze. Now the next item on the list is a North American Rescue Mini Responder. This one is a 4 inch emergency trauma dressing and I believe as far as for the dimension it stretches out to uh, about 42 inch long and the actually pad that you put on the wood is about four, it's a 4 by 6 inch pad and it has both hook and loop as well as a sturdy um, C-clip closure to hold the dressing in place when you put it over the wound and I like the compact profile as well which is better than uh, a lot of other dressings out there I, I mean they work fine there's not one with them they're just a little bit bulkier so I went with this one because it's a slim profile dressing moving on to the next item I have a pair of hyphen vent chest seal twin pack and these are the compact size and they give you two of them so you can put one over the entry one and one over the exit and some of the features with this um, this chest seals you got three channel pressure relief vents and also you got a big red tab that allows you to apply the seals and remove them easily next I have seven gauze sterile gauze pads and these um, can be used to clean a wound and the reason we have seven of them because you can go through them easily through a lot of them easily in a short period of time so just to be on the safe side I carry seven of them uh, I mean for you guys it doesn't have to be seven you can have more or less it all depends on you and in addition to those I have um, those are the three by three inch I have um, two thicker ones that are the 4x4 four four as well and I have some um, duct tape, medical tape, two sets of gloves and I carry some burn gels, some alcohol pads, some insect sting relief and four hand wipes some um, bandages these are the regular sizes and I also carry the smaller sizes as well and another item that I carry in here that really is a very versatile item is a triangular bandage also known as, uh, as, also known as a cravat and this one comes with a safety pin and there are many applications to this one I mean you can use it as a sling for your arms if you got a dislocated joint and also you can use it to stabilize um, a, a fracture of some sort and for last I have a survival blanket and this one you can um, use it to wrap up the, the individual in case if they are losing body heat and this will help you help them I mean help them retain all the body heat Now, when I pack everything in a plastic bag, this is what it looks like. The reason why I chose to go with the plastic bag instead of a nylon first aid bag is because it's easier to spot all the items. And when you're under stress, I want to be able to look into the bag and see what I have in there and then where it's located so I can go straight to the item instead of having to dig into the bag and trying to find um, the the item that I, that I need to use on the on the individual or god forbid i'm the one that is being used on the person can just reach into the bag and grab what they need without having to uh, look for it as far as for my philosophy or mindset behind carrying all these items on a daily basis 
is that I understand that I don't get to pick when I get caught in some kind of emergency situation that would require immediate medical assistance. And if I only have two minutes to stop an arterial bleeding or administer CPR and the ambulance is five minutes away, not having a $30 tourniquet or know the basic, knowing the basic CPR skill can mean life or death. I'm not trying to scare you guys, but I'm simply trying to give you the different pers a different perspective about things that you can encounter while being out and about. This is pretty much it, guys, for today. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section. And also, don't forget to check out the description box where I'll put a list of all these items you see here on the table and also some links to a couple organizations that offer classes as far as for first aid, CPR, and uh, stop the bleed classes. All right, guys, this is Dino Tax signing out. Until next time, you guys stay safe.